Hi, this is Brian Van from Sport Bike Track here. We're here for part two of the brand new Shoei RF 1100 helmet review. This is where we're going to get technical, take it apart, give you a look from the inside out. Let's start off by showing you how to install the value added features, the breath guard and the chin curtain. Breath guard is simple, okay? You come here, the vent that is just behind the chin, the chin bar of the helmet, locate that and go ahead and push the breath deflector in between that and the chin bar EPS. Very easy to do. It's rubberized. It's got some locator tabs so it holds it in there nicely. The chin curtain takes a little bit more effort but not a big deal. Ryan, if you want to zoom in, we have right here a little arrow that locates the center of the chin curtain. Match that up with what you believe to be the center line of the chin. Once you push that in in the middle a little bit, I want you to work from the middle to the back on each side independently, okay? And this is to make sure that you get a nice fit. Get that started. Let's go ahead and repeat the process here on the other side. Start from the middle, work to the back. Now grab your helmet like so and just push in using your fingers. Take the time to push it up in nice and tight between the helmet shell and the chin EPS so it stays in there. Okay? That's what it's going to look like when you get it in and get it done. Nice chin curtain works to calm and quiet the wind there and seal that up. To remove it, grab a hold of the cloth here, pull it up just enough so you can get a hold of the plastic tab. Gently pull that up starting from one side, working around to the other. To remove our breath deflector, grab it from one side, pull it around. Now let's go to the, the brand new shield, the wind tight, water tight shield. In the open position, has to be in the open position, grab a hold of this trigger here, push it forward. You can see the shield begin to jump out. Grab the shield here on the bottom, rotate it out, forward, and then back. comes right out. Repeat the process on the other side. Easy to do. Zoom in for a quick look at that awesome shield mechanism. Very impressive, spring-loaded, perfect seal. I verified it by riding in it. At least it was for me airtight. To reinstall the shield, this tab here, the tab on the top, is the tab I want you to begin with. It's going to go in this slot right here. Okay, you got that, Ryan? Let's grab our shield, start in that slot, push it in there. From there, it's pretty self-explanatory. Everything lines up into place. Gently push in. Repeat it on the other side. Doesn't really get much easier than that, now does it? For the first time, the Shoei RF series offers a removable liner, completely removable, washable, replaceable, cheek pads and crown. There's something else I, I should point out here. After you remove your chin curtain, you can see it kind of distorts the seal here of the helmet at the base. Take one of the edges of your chin curtain and just kind of gently work that rubber seal back into its original spot. You, you don't want to leave that distorted like that for any period of time because it could result in, in some permanent distortion perhaps. Take good care of your helmet. These things are expensive. So do it like that. To remove the interior of the helmet, start with the cheek pads. There are three snaps. Put your fingers in behind the cheek pad and the EPS of the helmet. Loosen the snaps up. Three. Very precise. The front part of the cheek pad here, I want you to grab onto the cloth, pull it up until you can get a hold of the plastic tab. Pull it back like so. Here is our cheek pad, removable, washable, replaceable. You can actually go a step further, slide these snaps through each, each one of the three snaps and pull the foam out. If you wash this, do it by hand with a mild detergent, let it air dry. Don't ever put it in a dryer, okay? And then reinstall it. Keeps your helmet in good shape, nice and clean. Mirror image on the other cheek pad, of course. Reach in there, loosen up your snaps, pull it up, grab a hold of the fabric so you get a hold of that tab. From front to back, pull it out. Removable top pad. We have two snaps here at the back. I'm going to undo those. I'm going to reach in underneath the top pad. I'm going to come up here to the front. And to give you a better look, you know what, let's just go ahead and take the shield off the helmet for the rest of this demonstration. We'll put it on as we close it up. Okay, back to the top pad. 
reach in underneath the top hat. I want you to try and get a hold of this plastic channel. Pull it out. There you go. You can also remove the chin strap covers and wash them. There's a simple snap at the top. We're not going to do that for the purpose of this video. Easy enough to do at home. Ryan, if you please zoom in on the EPS. It's a dual density EPS, dual layer. Focus in on the ventilation holes and the channeling. There's some internal channeling that goes on there that, of course, you can't see because we're not going to cut the EPS apart. Now let's put it back together. You'll note that this top pad, once again, has an arrow to locate the center line. You look at the brow of the helmet, you can see here is clearly your center line. It's a very precise fit up here. So take your time with this. Let's go ahead and locate our center line. You can start there and then kind of work your way back if you like. Slides right into place. Let's repeat the process here on the other, the other side. You know, with this completely removable liner and some of the new features on this RF-1100, I mean, they've really, in my mind, without elevating the price, they've, they've really elevated its position in the marketplace to the true premium position. Okay, I've got that reinstalled up here across the brow. It's all locked into place. We have two snaps here at the back. Great quality from Shoei. Easy to locate and reinstall. Let's grab our cheek pads, like so. Feed it through the chin strap. I want you to start from the front and work to the back with this retainer. You can see here there's a slot. Down here there's a pin. Slide that over that pin. Work from front to back. Once you get there, go ahead and take your fingers. Gently push that up in. You'll feel it lock into place. Pull your chin strap all the way through. Let's locate the front snap. Push it into place. And then work from front to back. It's the easiest way that I've found to do it. Repeat that process on the other side. Same deal. We're going to work from front to back. Locate that, that pin. Let's go ahead and get it started. Take our fingers and just push that all the way up in until you feel it lock into place. Look at it. Verify it's in place. Start with our forwardmost snap. Really done. I'm just very impressed with the quality of this thing overall. It's so easy to reassemble. Everything engages nice and positively. Gives you a lot of confidence it's going to stay together. Let's put our shield back on. I've shown you how to do this a couple of times already. Very easy to do. It'll take you no time at all to be totally comfortable with it. I mean, let's face it, you buy something like this, you're going to have this helmet for a long time. There you go. There's our brand new Shoei RF 1100. We think it's well worth the purchase price. A true premium helmet.